Washington hallway in the Ambassador Hotel last night. When Senator Kennedy was shot, he is perhaps the man who was closest to the senator when the shots were fired. Let's go back now to that hour last night. First, Senator Kennedy in victory, and then the voice of reporter West as our cameras show the panic that gripped the scene. So I thank, I thank all of you who made this possible this evening. All of the effort that you made and all of the people whose names I haven't mentioned but who made all, did all of the work at the precinct level, who got out the vote, who did all of the efforts and uh, brought forth all of the effort that's required. I was a campaign manager eight years ago. I know what a difference that kind of an effort and that kind of commitment make. So I thank all of you. Those of you are here. Mary, Mayor Yorty has just sent me a message that we've been here too long already. Thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. So we'll come back to that in a second, okay? So there's 2,400 photographs that are missing. Three rolls of Kodak film. There is a photographer. You had the trajectory. There's three or four shots into Kennedy. They said it was from a 30-degree angle, so it looks like there could have been a second shooter that had... Shot him from directly from behind. Sirhan Sirhan was either directly to the left or directly to the right of him, about three feet away. So if the kill shot was behind the right ear. Now I'm wondering, you know, the head. The head keeps going back behind the right ear, right? So is it possible to have shot Kennedy and it shoots behind the right ear and to have got... The brain, he, the Kennedy doesn't die immediately. He dies like 24 hours later, but I think that's, I think he was pretty much dead right there. His last words are, don't lift me. So does that mean the EMS killed him? They say you're not supposed to move him. So maybe you should just operate on the person right then and there. You think, get him into a hospital because they got all that supplies and shit. But don't they have EMS? Put some supplies in the fucking truck, motherfucker, and get on out of here. Don't lift me, he said, and then he goes unconscious shortly afterwards. Don't lift me, he said. So, a lot of times, the EMS people are part of the damn conspiracy, too. If you ever seen Ocean's... <coughs> 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 They say you got shot in the head. It might be possible that your head is there and there is a little bit of brain, but really it seems like they're saying that the shot was point blank because there was a powder burn. There was a powder burn right next to the wound. You also had 13 shots in five seconds. That's a whole bunch of shots in five seconds. He only had eight shots in his gun. How did you get five more shots off than what the gun could hold? In five seconds, too. Pow, 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 13 shots. No way. No way he got 13 shots off. Now, there's been two analysis. One analysis says that there was just the eight shots. And then another analysis said that they heard 13 shots also. Point blank range. like Just like Lincoln. Only behind the left ear. 22 caliber revolver. Sirhan says he's got no memory of the shooting. You don't recall? Yeah, right, you lying motherfucker. I can't... <laughs> I can't stand dishonest motherfuckers. You want to be paroled, Sirhan, Sirhan? You tell us what the fuck is going on, man. Is it the CIA that they put you up to this? Is there a polka-dotted fucking woman? Is any of this shit security guard Caesar, Thane Eugene Caesar, did he have... We need some goddamn answers. He's in there for life, so that's one good thing about this is that we can get some goddamn answers. Thane Eugene Caesar was a security guard, a security guard, was there for about a week... And he said, they shot him. They shot him. 
Meaning that there is more than one shooter. You saw somebody else there, Thane? RFK was only 42 years old. He's on the way to victory, on his way to become the president. So it's basically, we'll always get to love RFK because we never got to, he's almost more dreamy than JFK. JFK fucking started Vietnam. He, he basically escalated Vietnam to the point of no return. But RFK, he was against the war. He was running against the war, against Vietnam. Very unpopular war at the time. And it looked like he was winning. It looks like he was gaining. It looks like he was going to beat LBJ. LBJ was like, I'm not even going to run against this guy. RFK is shot. Hubert Humphrey is picked. And guess who fucking wins? Nixon. You think he could have been behind it? He benefited the most. The Republican Party benefited the, benefited the most. That thing, Eugene Caesar, is also a racist piece of shit. Right wing racist piece of shit. He's the one that said they shot him, but some people say, hey, maybe he was he pulled out a gun and fired a shot. So he got tackled down too, just like Sirhan did. But he said he was, you know, firing in defense. Well, where was the gun pointed? <laughs> we know he pointed a gun and he shot a gun. Maybe we should ask this thing, Eugene Caesar, a couple more questions. Let's have a goddamn fucking a Warren Commission. Another Warren Commission. A modern day Corey. Bush an AOC commission let's try, let's find out who the fuck killed Jeff K who killed Malcolm X who killed Martin Luther King who killed RFK if there's some person in America you would think that the leader of America you'd want to know who shot the leader of America right that's ah Somebody assassinated the president. We arrested somebody. Case closed. Why do we need to ask more questions? A tragedy happened. The government said it was that guy. We went ahead and punished that guy. I think it's very possible that, you know, I guess anything's possible. So, even though his last words were, don't lift me, the, the last words... Because that's not fair, right? Like, uh, useless, useless. John Wilkes Booth, his last words are useless, useless. With his arms, he was paralyzed. Shit. John Wilkes Booth got shot through the neck, so, you know. And then that Lewis Powell got fucking hung. For 30 minutes, he struggled. <laughs> they said that Mary Surratt's neck snapped right away, so that was... Humane. It was nice and humane. Is everybody okay? Yes, everybody's okay. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> so, he heard something else, right? But basically, his last words, RFK, is everybody okay? He just got fucking assassinated. And his fucking goddamn words is, is everybody okay? And then the, the bus boy says, yes, everybody's okay. The most famous picture where the bus boy is like down there, like kind of tending to RFK. Yes, everybody's okay. He re reassured Kennedy and then Kennedy says, everything's going to be okay. And he kind of looks off to the side. So it's like, is everybody okay? Yes, everybody's okay. Everything's going to be all right. No, no, probably not, man. You've been shot and seems like you're going to die. Don't lift me. We shouldn't have lifted him. We should have kept him right there. We've had Sirhan, Sirhan subdued. Everybody back the fuck up. I guess you, I don't know. I mean, you only got so much. You don't want to move the person because the, the fucking thing, the lung, right, could just be barely open. And, the, and, and as soon as you, you stretch the fucking organ and then the whole thing's. So you don't want to move them. But then at the same time, the EMS is going to take a while for them to get there. I guess they were there. The EMS was there. Just fucking keep them there. What the fuck? Try to stabilize them there, then put them on a stretcher, and then get them into the hospital. That seems more logical. But, uh, you know, being a Monday back quarterback, or what do they say, a, a fair weather a back seat driver, hindsight's twenty twenty. They talk about hypnotization, but fuck that hypnotization. I don't believe that he was hypnotized. Oh, yeah, somebody somebody touched your arm. 
<laughs> Must kill Kennedy. He was a fucking Manchurian candidate. Just like a fucking naked gun. So I don't want Sirhan Sirhan to be paroled. He actually wasn't paroled. He was denied parole this year. Good thing. Until 2026. Every three years it comes up. But in three years, we need to ask him tough questions. We need to know the fucking truth, motherfucker. And then in the next three years, you know, he needs to show remorse. You killed Kennedy. You should feel bad about it. You should apologize and feel bad about it. But the fact that he's saying that he was hypnotized, he's, he's not saying he's hypnotized. He's saying he couldn't remember. I don't remember. I think he just doesn't want to fucking admit to it. You have a right to remain silent. And once you say that you've done it, then that's, you know, that's all, all she wrote. That might be why he's lived this long. I don't recall. You don't recall when you killed Kennedy? Fuck you. Fuck you. You were drunk. You know, you weren't in the right state of mind. You remember the people tackling you. You remember the coffee beforehand. Why don't you remember when you shot Kennedy, you piece of shit? You saw him walking by. You was mad about your country. And you shot him. Why don't you admit it? The CIA set you up. It was a fucking ATF. Tell us what you fucking know. And tell us every single fucking detail. I want to know when it comes to the facts, when it comes to the truth. I want to know your whole year. And then I want to know that month. And then I want to know that fucking day. And then I want to know the hour by hour, minute by minute, moment by moment. Write it down. Be precise. We need to know what the fuck happened, Sir Han, Sir Han. Once you're gone, we'll never get the truth of what happened. We'll never get the final truth of what happened. You know more than what you're letting on. And we can't let him go. That's the whole point of putting him in. He killed Kennedy. Because of a possible policy idea which he never got to put into play. There's people that actually... Kennedy didn't hurt his brother. It wasn't Kennedy that hurt his brother. And in fact, I would say that he's mostly liberal and progressive. So if there's going to be anybody that would have been sympathetic to the Palestinian cause, it would have been Kennedy. So he's a fucking liar, you know. Maybe he's mad about the 50 Phantom Jets and this and that, but was there another gunman? Was there not another gunman? Was this fucking thing a part of it? Why was the gun burn right there next to it? Was it point blank range? Was you able to get right there close to him? Were you shooting at him, shooting at him, and everybody ducks down and so nobody saw that he put the gun right against the guy's head? deportation so he could be you know get parole 2026 and then get deported which I don't totally hate that idea I you killed Kennedy so I guess as a liberal I got mad mixed feelings on this assassination I got mad mixed feelings and I feel fucking bad about it because we still got Palestinian Israel issues today Israel still wants to steal Palestine we got a two two state solution is the official but Israel keeps on settlements and encroaching and just keeps on stealing Palestinian land. A little town of Bethlehem, Israel's going to steal Bethlehem. It's in Palestine. Israel's already taken Jerusalem. You got the West Bank and you got Gaza. Let Palestine have the West Bank and Gaza as is, motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. So the politics, he... Could be right because if Kennedy represented the liberal wing and even the liberal wing was 100% behind Israel, well, what chance did Palestine... Maybe he was fighting in defense of Palestine. Self-determination of Palestine. I am, you know, prone to believe something like that. And let's just assume that that's the case. Palestine, Israel was carved out of Palestine in 1948. 1968, 20 years. That's what he meant, 20 years. He's had malice, 20 years of malice of forethought. He could see, I could see the rationality. I could see the logic behind a Palestinian-born person killing RFK because he said, 
that he wanted 50 Phantom Jets to go to... 50 Phantom Military Jets to go to Israel. So I could see the rationalization, righteous or not, behind, you know, the official version. That being said, RFK is fucking legendary. When I see JFK, even today I get sad about him, even though he was all about fucking Vietnam, which is, what the fuck, JFK? What the fuck, man? He was, in the 1950s, JFK was criticized in Vietnam, then he becomes president, and then gets us marred into the quagmire. RFK is absolutely fucking legendary. When I see Jeff K, it's like we had an American. An actual American was a president. Not some weird fucking goofball fucking politician fuck who's just been sitting around the lobby and getting old and fucking droopy and shit. But a true blue American parted his fucking hair, had a nice, wholesome attitude, went fucking lacrosse and badminton and had a wife, kids, the whole shebang. I would say he's like the first modern American president just because, I don't even, not even his policies, but because he looked like one of us. He's the closest that we've ever got to an actual, an American becoming the president, Obama. Just JFK and Obama, that's the only modern presidents, and that's just looks. I mean, I don't even talk, let's not, let's not get into the substance, right? Since FDR and Lincoln, we hadn't really had much substance. But JFK and Lincoln, uh, FDR, did I mention... Lincoln? Yeah, okay. So, what about James Garfield? What about James Buchanan? Yeah, ask a confederate what they think about James Buchanan. Oh, you hate Lincoln, huh? What do you think of James Buchanan? Huh? Who was that? Was that a president or something? Yeah, yeah, it was, you stupid fuck. You're bitching about Lincoln because you're a racist bitch. That's 30 presidents ago. God damn, we've had 30 fucking presidents since then, you stupid motherfucker. You got an opinion about, you know, Calvin Coolidge? He can fucking kiss my... He can lick my butt ring. <laughs> Fuck you, Calvin Coolidge. Vermont produced Bernie Sanders. Thank God for that, but Calvin Coolidge was the only thing Vermont was known for for forever. So... Release Sirhan, Sirhan, no fucking way. We need to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We need to get as much fucking information and tell us the truth, Sirhan. And you know what? You tell us the whole truth and the, the, we'll let you go. We'll let you go. Tell us the whole fucking thing. You did it because it was just you and that's it. Tell us if it's our CIA. Have more courage and... Sirhan, Sirhan has never admitted being a part of it. He's never admitted to killing Kennedy or hating Kennedy. It almost seems like it's a preponderance of the evidence because he's got the article <laughs> of the 50 phantom bombers in his pocket and then his diary at the house is sitting there saying Kennedy must die, kill Kennedy, kill Kennedy and all this other crazy shit. But it was on the anniversary of the 67 Arab-Israel war. It was 20 years after the establishment of Israel, after Israel carved out of Palestine. So I got mad mixed feelings because I wanted Kennedy. I want Kennedy to become president. And then if he's not, you know, as if he's just the same near liberal fucking dick hole as the rest of them, then get another fucking Kennedy. Get another modern, get it. Give somebody a chance. Give an American a chance at running America and see what the fuck actually happened. I guess we did have Obama, but he said he ran the country like Reagan. So RFK, I guess what I'm saying is RFK is legendary. I don't want him to get shot. I would have liked to have seen him become president. And he deserved, he had another fucking 30 years more to live. 30, 40 years more to live. What would we have been? Basically, when the Kennedys got killed, that fucking threw America off our fucking grid. That threw America off of our orbit. And we're just floating out in space. RFK is legendary. So as a liberal, I do wish that RFK's policies on Israel-Palestine was better because we still got fucking issues today, 60 years later. But that's one of many fucking issues. RFK was right about a whole bunch of things, and we could have got him to the place. You think electing a bunch of right-wing fucking white supremacists fucking... <laughs> Goddamn Wall Street sons of bitches, you think that's... 
How's that going to help anybody? You got rid of the one hope and change person and then you said, well, go with the fucking status quo people. Yeah, get rid of the fucking change agents and just keep the status quo motherfuckers around. How's that help anybody? So we can't release Sirhan Sirhan. He's never admitted to being a part of it. And uh, I feel bad if you were fucking hypnotized, you lying piece of shit. But people can be brainwashed by lies, right? So that's more likely, brainwashed by lies, by intimidation, but hypnotized? How often do you hear that happening, Your Honor? <laughs> you don't understand. The ATF came up to me and they touched my arm. And then I was hypnotized. Yeah, bullshit. You need to tell us the fucking truth, Sir Han, Sir Han. And um, you need to give us RFK back, you piece of shit. RFK Jr. is not his father. He is his father's son. He's got that raspy voice, so he doesn't look and sound presidential. And it's going to be hard to listen to a president that doesn't sound, you know, confident and strong. But just the thought of getting a Kennedy back in there. Ted Kennedy always talked about the dream that would never die. And the dream that would never die. He used a 22 caliber Ivor Johnson Cadet Revolver. They said there's too many bullets. Where did he get the gun from? Where was he living at the time? And who did he get a ride from? How did he know that Kennedy was going to be there? How did he know to be there in the kitchen? We need to write all these questions down. Get the fucking answer. Tell him to be as precise as possible. He's, he knows the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. We need to know the goddamn truth before we release him. And he hasn't been forthcoming. He hasn't been up front and upright. He's been a liar. He's been lying. He's been oh, I, I don't. I remember right beforehand, and I remember right afterwards. I just blacked out. I, I remember in in high school, right? You, if you got into a fight, you're one of the good kids. You cannot participate in the fight. If you fight back, then you're gonna get suspended, and that's only for the good kids. Actually, if you're a bad kid and you just start pummeling on somebody, well, then they only get a detention. That's uh, that's okay. What am I trying to say here? I remember that a, f a buddy of mine got into a fight and he's like, you know, the guy just come up at me and he just started talking, you know, his shit and I just blacked out. <laughs> you black, you beat the shit out of him. You punched him this way, that way, and you knocked him down. You beat, you blacked out. You don't remember any of that fucking bullshit, you lying motherfucker. It's like Ma Muhammad Ali. I don't know what happened, you know, nine rounds later, the guy was just down on the ground. <laughs> you don't remember the whole fight? The, probably the most exciting fucking one minute of your life? You don't remember you seeing Kennedy and you pulling out your pistol and shooting at him and hitting him and hitting other people? You don't remember any, any of that? You were, you were too drunk? It was, the, was it the coffee? Was it the woman in the polka dotted dress? She, she distracted you? Is that a woman in a polka dot dress? Pow, 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 pow. That makes no sense. He even mentioned, I think, um, well, is everything, is everybody okay? Yes, everybody's okay. Well, everything's going to be okay. Don't lift me. All right, everybody lift him. It might have been that EMS guy. Who was the EMS guy that lifted him? I want to know their fucking names. There's so much part... There's so much... Why don't we question any of this shit? We just assume the investigators... Well, you know, they did their job, probably. So Kennedy got shot. Sirhan, Sirhan was arrested. What more do you need to know? Uh, All of it? I need to know 24 years, and then I need to know his 23rd year, and then I need to know that month what he was doing, then I need to know that day what he's doing, then I need to know minute by minute, second by second, moment by moment, what the fuck he was doing. I need to know. Oh, and there's the, the bullet in the neck doesn't match Sirhan's gun. The bullet in the neck doesn't match Sirhan's gun. You had the photographs of all the panels and the fucking, there was a bullet in the doorway and the, there were some bullets in the panels. 2,400 pictures were deleted or Kodak photos. They went ahead and returned the photos to the guy, but none of the actual assassination beforehand and afterwards. Just like Sirhan Sirhan. I don't remember the thing. This is bullshit. 
Uh, you can't just give it to the investigators. You have to give it to somebody who... You have to give it to the press and the investigators. You got to have both a... You got to figure out the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And if the press or the court, the court acts like, well, you can only, this is the only information that can get in. So, yeah, we can't let him go until he tells us, is there other people involved? Was it the motherfucking, the CIA stonewall, the JFK assassination probe the whole time. And then if fucking Fred Hampton, McKinley, Garfield, JFK, Lincoln, RFK, Malcolm X. Martin Luther King, a lot of people are being assassinated. Fred Hampton was straight up assassinated by the FBI. And the Chicago police killed Fred Hampton. Told MLK to go kill himself. They was on the scene right there at Malcolm X. JFK and RFK, there's CIA's got, you know, there's, there's, there's stench all over the fucking thing. Lincoln was killed, we'll presume a lone nut, but like we said in the very beginning, even then was a small conspiracy because John Wilkes Booth had a guy outside with a horse, holding his horse, waiting for him. John Wilkes Booth had several places he could go and run to and hide. He had a barn that he was staying in at the very end. John Wilkes Booth had that boarding house. He had Confederates. He had other people that was there with him. He was going to shoot Lincoln when two other people were supposed to shoot. Lewis Powell was supposed to kill Seward, the Secretary of State, and then George Az- Azerot was supposed to kill the Vice President. So there was a small conspiracy. He had several associates. People were helping him, helping him get away. He had a one pistol he had one bullet one pistol gun which is incredible how did you know your one bullet and one pistol would fucking how did you know that john parker john frederick parker wasn't going to be guarding lincoln's body his box at that at the ford's theater at that time because the publication says u.s grant was going to be there and if there's a bodyguard there and there's u.s grant and there was another fucking guy that's at least three or four shots john wilkes booth walks into the booth to kill lincoln with only one bullet and a tiny little gun fucking crazy a little fucking saturday special saturday night special a one bullet one shooter that's just is he that cocky and that confident or did um, he kind of know a thing or two? Oh, okay, John Parker's not there. Oh, okay, U.S. Grant didn't show up either. Oh, he's just in there by himself. I'm sure they had, like, revolvers back then, so why not have a gun with, like, five or six bullets? The point being is that John Wilkes, there was a small conspiracy. People were helping him. He had an associate or two. There was other people that was going to do a bigger plan. And I think we should compare and contrast all these assassination and these conspiracies to Abraham Lincoln. Who's going to fucking be all pissed off about... Who's going to be biased about Lincoln? No. No, that's not... It was John Wilkes Booth. And there was a small conspiracy. He had some people that helped him. So, to think that Sirhan, Sirhan... Do we think he's the smartest person ever? Do we think that he can... Anyways... I'd rather have RFK around, and I need to know what the fuck happened. I can't just let Sirhan Sirhan get the fuck away with this shit. The Confederate fucking Jefferson Davis got away with this shit. Lincoln gets killed, and then we're going to hang, like, you know, eight people. But Jefferson Davis is going to get captured and arrested, and then three years later gets fucking paroled and pardoned. And what the fuck? It's like you forgot what happened two years ago? Everybody's all pissed off, and Sirhan Sirhan did his fucking dastardly foul evil deed he, he did a dastardly foul evil deed and now 60 years later we know nothing we have no more information and now we're just going to be even big more fucking lip dick fucking needle dick fucking tiny dick fucking liberal fucking namby pamby fucking ah oh, just let the criminals go i'm tired of goddamn liberals not giving a fuck about the criminal fucks no no we get the information out of Sirhan Sirhan. We don't release him until we know what the fuck happened. Po- bullet point by bullet point. Moment by moment. Second by second. Moment by moment.